This is me doing what I do best. I've spent years in clubs. The music, the lights, the atmosphere. I love it. And the thing about most places I go is, it doesn't matter who you are, straight, gay, it's just not an issue. But what would it be like if I went to a place where being gay was an issue? An issue that could get you killed. I am quite nervous. I wish I had the right. I would have killed them. You think they should be killed because of their gay? If you go down with our sexuality, we'll sin and go to hell. You perish. I'm just spending what I'm feeling inside myself because I was born like this. I because I was born like this. We have proposed the death penalty in this in this bill. I should probably tell you uh, at this point that I am actually a gay man. In this film, I'm going to try and find out what it's like to be harassed, beaten, and to live in fear of your life, just because of your sexuality. And to do this, I'm going to go to one of the worst places in the world to be gay. I'm just really scared now. I don't know what he's going to do. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm expecting somebody to burst in through that door any minute and arrest me or something. I've never been in a situation like this before. So, I'm gay. Big deal, you might think. And in this country, it really isn't. I can be who I want to be, and for the most part, nobody gives a damn. I've never had a problem, you know, with you coming out. No, I've, no, I really haven't. I've, not really. People are more open-minded now, and the more accepted yeah, you can go on pride marches, you can marry people of the same sex, even if you don't approve of something, you know, you've got the choice to look away. Yeah. And it's definitely not held me back in my career. Gary Howard, Jason Mark and Robbie, it's take that. Hello! Hey. Good morning, everybody. Can I just touch this? No. Oh. Okay. No. It's not always been like this, though. Up until the late 60s, homosexuality in the UK was illegal, and being openly gay could get you imprisoned, fired from your job, and regularly attacked. Even in the 80s, stars like George Michael and Elton John were hiding who they really were. It's only recently that coming out hasn't been seen as a big problem. But compared to elsewhere, we're a model of tolerance. And although things still aren't perfect, we've come a long way. But in other parts of the world, homosexuals are still hated and discriminated against. In Africa! Sodom is an abomination, a taboo, and an evil. A wave of intense homophobia is washing across Africa, where homosexuality is already illegal in 37 countries. It's being fueled by fundamentalist preachers, intolerant governments, and homophobic politicians. People are being tortured, raped, and imprisoned just for being gay. And in some cases, even facing the death penalty. Recently, gay rights groups have seen an increase in reported attacks across the continent, due in large part to a deluge of anti-gay propaganda, some of it more outrageous than others. A, a man's anus is leaked like this by the other person, like ice, cream. like ice cream. And then what happens, even poo-poo comes out. The other poo-poo's out, huh? and then they eat the poo-poo. I don't know where to begin with that. That's awful, and I've never seen anything like that in my life, and it's quite scary that he's allowed to do that. It's in Uganda, though, where things are really hotting up. Homosexuality is already illegal, but a new bill's been proposed that'll seriously ramp up the punishments for being gay. Anyone convicted of having gay sex will be sentenced to life imprisonment, and if you have gay sex more than once, you can be executed. Ugandan activists say over 20 people have already been attacked because of the hysteria whipped up by this bill. I've never really been involved with gay rights, but the way things are in Africa made me want to get out there and see what's really going on. 
Before flying out, though, I was keen to hear firsthand from someone who knows what it's like. So headed down to Portsmouth, where he's based, which just happens to be round the corner from where I grew up. First school, first radio job, first boyfriend, it all happened in this area, and it's where I first came out. But growing up here and being gay wasn't an issue for me at all. The same can't be said for John Lombi, who was so persecuted he fled Uganda and now lives in the UK. They came around, they arrested uh, some of the gay guys, they were taken to police, beaten up really badly, and then they had to t ask them to mention all the names of the people whom they know uh, that they are gay. So did they torture them until they gave the names? Yes, they did. And uh, the, the names they gave, was uh, my name was included. Just because he was gay, John was disowned by his family and had to go into hiding. This is a million miles away from what I went through growing up as a gay person. See, it's weird meeting you here uh, because I grew up in this area and yeah. our experiences are completely different because I had a really easy time, really, growing up being gay. Yeah. It wasn't an issue for me at all. So you didn't have any problems? Not away, really, no. Even when you were a kid and when you came out? Not really. My dad freaks out a little bit, because they do, but he's fine now. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it's interesting to meet you and, and to hear what you have to say, because it, it was hard for you. It looks like we are on different planets, because if you are gay in Uganda and you mention you're gay, you live in fear. It, it, it doesn't matter what even they can set fire on you, uh, alive. Or they can get plastic things, burn them on your skin, and nobody cares. The public, the police, no one cares. What would happen if you went back to Uganda now? I can be killed. I can lose my life, uh, not because I've done anything wrong, but because of my sexuality. Listening to John made me realise just what a dangerous place Uganda is for someone like me. I'm quite worried about the, some of the people I'm going to meet because some yeah. of them are blatantly well, it's proper they, it's anti, anti, anti So that's... Is it safe yeah. though? Is it safe? Be danger, um, there will be some danger, absolutely. Because people there have been known to be, like, um, tortured for it. That's not going to happen to you. I've, Scott, is this like our last drink with you? No, 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 no. Oh, I hope Cheers. not. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Another one, please. <laughs> Um, but in the cold light of day, my trip to Uganda didn't seem so funny. And as I headed to the airport, I had to ask myself, as a gay guy, why was I going to a country where just being myself could get me beaten up, arrested, or even killed? It's very early in the morning. Um, I'm quite scared now. Um, it's weird that in seven hours' time I will be in a completely different place to here, um, and I have no idea what to expect. I just don't know what to expect at all. But I guess I'll find out in a few hours. Uh, I am quite nervous. <laughs> And then I was here, in the vibrant heart of Africa, Uganda. Home to around 33 million people, the majority of whom think homosexuality is an abomination. I've never been to a city this crazy in my life, I'm telling you. It's just a full-on assault on your tenses. You've got the matatus, which are the buses, which take people everywhere. Uh, if you don't want to take a matatu, you take a bodder bodder, which are the motorbikes. There's just people and music and smells and it's just mental. It seemed a really cool and friendly place. Although I wondered if the vibe would change if they knew I was gay. Not that I was planning to tell anyone, unless they were gay too. What do you think of homosexuals? I hate that. I hate that in myself. Or myself. I hate homosexuals. Those people should be arrested. And where would you put them? Sorry? Arrested and then what? 
then in prison in prison exactly so what do you think should happen to gay people what should the government do with them they should put them in prison for life others should be killed everything bad should be done to those people you think they should be killed yeah a girl and a girl it's quite disgusting honestly yeah. it is or a man and a guy but you were approached to be gay Yes, I was asked to be gay and I, I refused. That's the truth. Just because I know that it's not acceptable. In Christ, it's not acceptable according to the Bible. I wish I had the right. I would have killed them. Killed them? Yeah, it's unfair. How can you get married to your friend? Do you think they should be killed? Mm, yes. No, what do you think is that? Okay, uh, this place really is homophobic. Um, Everyone's saying exactly the same thing. I didn't think it was going to be this bad, but it is. All this talk about killing homosexuals wasn't helping my nerves. But even here, there's still a few people who refuse to give in. In London, the best place to meet a group of gay guys is in a gay bar. I didn't expect to find one here. But surprisingly, there is somewhere that tolerates people like me. Is this the only place that you feel safe in Kampala? Yeah, so far is the only place. Okay, there's another place that has started, but it hasn't really caught fire yet. Mm. But, uh, this yeah, is to other places, we are, we are somehow harassed, we are somehow abused, like that, we are somehow taken away, some, some, are, some are beaten. Everyone I spoke to was worried about the situation outside the relative safety of the bar. To be a gay person in Uganda, what's it like? On my side, on my side, it's tough because I'm. I I want to get freedom, but it's difficult. In England, like you can, it's so easy to. You can be gay. It's a lot. Everywhere is allowed. Okay, but not here so much. Can I ask you? Yeah. Are you gay too? Mm -hmm. As the night wore on, most people forgot about the dangers and concentrated on having fun. Hi! Hey. How are you? Hi. Yeah, hi, hi. Hi. Oh, Someone's grinding against me now. I think, um, having seen what I've seen already, um, that these people are very brave to come out here and, um, and, and be in this bar. However, um, it is a really friendly, really fun place where they can just be themselves. Like I can be in every bar in London, this is the only place they can come. I wanted to find out more about some of the guys I met at the Tea Cozy. So headed over to where they lived, a place called Boise. It's here that I arranged to meet Joseph and his friends. He told me to follow him, but was very nervous about the camera. Don't shoot. The area is very homophobic, and the last thing he wanted was to draw attention to himself. As we walked through the maze of decaying shacks and stinking drains, it shocked me how desperate the conditions were. But because they'd been disowned by their families, thrown out of their homes, and nobody would employ them, dangerous as it is for gays, this is the only place they can find to live. So you see now, this is the drainage. How dirty it is. You see, some, they don't come at night. You will just squat here and then defecate in this drain. You can see the way it looks, the way it is. People must get ill because of the sanitation. Yeah, many of them. This one, he was admitted to Mulago Hospital. Cholera. Cholera because of the environment here. This is the toilet. Yeah, this yeah. is the toilet. Whoa. This is the... Uh, this is probably the worst place I've seen yet in terms of living. I've not even been inside yet, but it just looks awful. Um, so, 